Hi everyone, welcome to another iPhone app review. Today we're taking a look at Box and Bug. It's about boxes and bugs. It's very similar in gameplay, uh, at least the goal of the gameplay, it's similar to Tiki Totems. If you've ever played Tiki Totems, you know you're trying to uh, stack up the Tiki's. In this case, we're trying to stack up the boxes, and the way we do that is by playing the spider at the top, swinging back and forth, and releasing the boxes, and we want to get those as high as possible. Now, in addition to having uh, a different way of building our towers here, another way that a box and bug differs is that down in the bottom right corner, you have a spider web button, and you also have a blaster on the left side. And what those allow you to do is, once you put a web on one of the boxes, then additional boxes will stick to that one. So even if it's not uh, perfectly flat for the next box to fall on it because of the web then the next box will will stick to it and as you can see uh, once a box touches it it sticks as well or you can hit the blaster to get rid of that box so there are a couple different strategies here you could try to make one big tower or you can kind of uh, get a, a wide base and go from there you can keep going up in the top right corner it shows you how many blocks the red number is how many blocks have fallen off the screen and when that gets to zero well then you're done it's, it's got nice graphics, it's very addictive, I think it's at least as good as Tiki Totem, and the extra features give it a, a fun little twist to the gameplay. That's a look at Box and Bug for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.